am here with Suhail from Veonis, and we are looking at uh, the Vespera Pro. Exactly, it's the Vespera range. So here you have the Vespera 2, which is disassembled, and here the second one is the Vespera Pro. Excellent. And can you tell us just a little bit about the history uh, of the company and kind of like where we are at? I think this is, is this your first time here at, at the uh, Nice. Yeah, exactly. It's the first time. So our company was created like eight years ago and we have pioneered the world of smart telescopes with our Stellina telescope. It has, was an 80 millimeter scope uh, aperture. And the idea behind it uh, from our founder, who is um, a passionate astronomer, was to create and to make astronomy like accessible for everyone. Right. So it was like with the, the ease of use, the ease of the experience, and the, something which is really flawless from the app, from the setup, and from the observation. And um, so it was the first one. Then we created the Vespera range with the Vespera one, the Vespera like the Frontier with some special editions. And now today we are presenting like the number two and the, the Pro, who are the is most advanced. Is that new to our... here at Neef? Um, was this the first time you're announcing? Uh, no, um, they have been released since uh, last year, okay. but it's the first time we're presenting them at the NIF. Got yeah, it. Exactly. Um, and so what, what kind of uh, do you feel is like the most important part about this product that um, people should know? Actually, we have two things that are important about this product. We have like the hardware built, which is completely different. As you can see, it with the naked Vespera that we're exposing here because we have like an uh, aluminum frame that makes it really stiff and really rigid, when, which make it last like very longer. And uh, it's one of the reasons why it's the only tele smart telescope in the market that is warranted for three years. Okay. That's the thing wow. that we're exposing here on the market. We are so confident in the build that we, right. we make them like uh, an extension of one more year of the um, telescopes. And the, the other difference if it's made by the software because we have like some functionalities that make the experience even more seamless and even more accessible. And this is running okay. off of an app or a exactly. tablet, Exactly, we have correct? an app that runs on Android and iOS and with this app you can control your Vespera so all you have to do is just set it up, put it on and then you select the object you want to target and it does all the work. Wow. And okay. um, the idea is if you are a beginner, you can just select the object with our catalog of more than 4,000 objects available for observation. And if ever you have like some more specific targets that you want to target, and then you can just um, put your manual coordinates, and then you can point the, 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 the object you, you, you want. Can you do um, things that are more terrestrial, like looking at birds or other things? No, actually ours are specially me made for deep space. Okay. So you, you can target like the sun, the moon, with, with real crisp details and we really detailed things when looking at them but you for deep space you have like you get the most of our products okay and they have a solar filter i assume that goes exactly on the top. so they are sold like this and and the parts on the top of the vespera here as you can Got see it. you can just plug our filters that we sell with it for example the one that is included here is That's the nice. cls filter which is made for to reduce the light pollution in the cities and we have like a dual bond filter, which is a narrow bond, and the solar filter for solar observation. So cool. to, to check sunspots, to see eclipses, and all these events like we have like witnessed in uh, last month. Uh, Can you do um, like mosaics and make big Exactly. Frame? Actually, the FOV of the, these scopes, is, uh, they have native FOV, but with the mosaic mode, live mosaic mode, you can extend it even more. And to capture objects, as you can see here on the video, we are exposing like you get Andromeda on one, one whole field of view. And it's something that we have released like two years ago, and that, which was really groundbreaking in the field yes. of smart telescopes. And now we have improved much more because we can, you can include this mosaic and use it for multi-night projects, which means that you can stack the same object over multiple nights. No need to be at this oh, wow, okay. exactly the same spot, but if you are in the right. same location, you can just, if you do eight hours today, so you can come back like in, one week or one month and stack eight more hours another day or even planets using our plan my nights features like which means that you can just enter the, the objects you want to observe during this night you schedule them and the telescope does all the work for you so right right that's so if you want to do long exposures over many many nights you can do exactly. that but you don't, if exactly. you're just interested in going to a bunch of objects exactly. you can do that too you, you can do both you can or increase the quality of your picture by getting more lights during multiple nights or just like make a lot of observation during one night to get the most of the objects you can go in one session and that's something really cool for the users and especially when you don't have enough time uh, to to set up everything to adjust details right so what's the difference between uh, the, the one you've had and the pro here 
actually this one is so the two the, the main difference is the sensor the sensor is different between both and especially some um, some uh, specs like the the memory so the storage and the battery life that are different and the pro is really meant for the most demanding ones and people who are more into astrophotography and want to export the pictures and to do like some image processing afterwards so it comes with the landscape which is which we can see here which allows the telescope to do like one unique feature which is like making the darks automatically right. so to get the best of the picture and the best quality available on the market sure. it, and even this experience we have made it really seamless because you have one button in the app to release the creation of the darks it takes like 12 to 15 minutes and you get one dark for a lifetime so no need to do it for each observation and uh, also the pro comes with a lot of accessories so it has like uh, the built-in high grow sensor which has an automatic defogging feature and this comes with the tripod this fly case that comes with it so to, to protect it and to handle it and uh, finally it has like an anti-theft system for people who leave it like outside during the night observing where they're inside for more security Wow, that's and great. for the app, it's the same app running all, all the Vespero engines daily in a range. Oh, yeah. In terms of uh, the tripod, is it um, normal tripod like adapter, or is it does it only use uh, this one? Uh, actually, you can use this one, which is delivered with it. But you can use also like standard tripods on the market. They they that have like the thread three eight, and all the three eight uh, threads can go on Perfect. this, and you can so make you can put it in high tripods, carbon tripod, gizzo, and all these kinds that use this there. Cool. Um, and uh, last question here, just, you know, when you're using this uh, for the purpose of like astrophotography, a lot of times people ask about the sensors themselves. Mm -hmm. um, you said there's a difference in sensors. What, what sensors are there um, between yeah. the two products? So both sensors are made by Sony. So you have a sensor which is like called the, the 585 on the Vespera 2. And here you have a sensor of the 600 range, so 676, uh, I guess, for this one which is like has smaller pixels for more details, which allows also to get a bigger resolution than this sensor. For example, the native resolution of this one is like eight megapixels that you can increase using the mosaic, while this one, um, it's, it can go like uh, up to 50 megapixels of, okay. uh, of resolution. And yeah. d details like this that make the sensor like more like uh, sensitive to light and to, to, to get like uh, even better images when you are doing astrophotography. Very cool. And this allows you also to capture like fa really faint objects, things that are not really available like with the, some of the other smart telescopes. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Thank I'm you. Excited, excited to have you here. Excited yeah, to have you. you at NEF, and I'm uh, looking forward to you guys coming back Great. in the future. Great. Stay tuned. We have something that we are released like on April 15th. Oh. Uh, a new feature on our like smart telescopes field that will be something really groundbreaking. And we can't wait to, to show it to everyone. So All stay right. Tuned. Well, maybe uh, if you're interested, I have a podcast as well. We can yeah, certainly sure. touch base after the announcement Perfect. and talk and a little bit more. we can present it there. Yeah. Cool. Sure. We can do it after the release. Awesome. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you. Have a good news. If you're still watching and like videos like this one, please consider becoming a Patreon patron. Memberships start as low as $3 per month, with benefits including opportunities to ask questions of our guests. Also, please consider to like, subscribe, and share this video to help us bring the universe even closer than you think.